Hello, everyone, and welcome inside Borleski Stadium, getting ready for the series finale rubber match between the Ben Delks and the Walla Walla Suites. Here with first year all curler and Mason Edwards have had a solid start to your summer, retiring nine of the 10 batters you've faced and have had a few Ks along the way. How has the transition been for you here to Ben? I know you wrapped up a pretty heavy load in your first year at USC. So how has it been turning over to summer ball? Yeah, I mean, we were pretty eager to get back into summer ball right after season ended. So I was just ready to come down here and then um, not much different. I, I got a good amount of innings this year at USC, so I was able to come in and be pretty confident while throwing. Um, nothing I haven't seen when I was um, playing during the season, so uh, pretty smooth transition and looking forward to the rest of summer. Right, as you mentioned, pretty heavy load, getting a lot of action in your first year at USC. 37 innings, 20 appearances in your first year, over 50 strikeouts. So how were you able to make that immediate impact in your true, true freshman season with the Trojans? Um, well, I got a lot of confidence over the fall. Um, I definitely was able to show that I belong. Um, and, you know, definitely had some trouble this season. Uh, didn't exactly have all the numbers that I wanted to, but, you know, we worked through it, was able to get some numbers that I was appreciative of. So not bad, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep going and we'll see how much better we can get. And just getting the opportunity to play at USC, what does that mean for you as a hometown Los Angeles kid? Yeah, it's definitely fun. Um, my family are big USC fans, so it's definitely awesome to be close to home with my family and, you know, I love being at USC. I like the culture. I like everything that we do there. I like, like the mindset that we have. And so it's just me and my family love it. So growing up in Southern Cal, was it always a dream for USC or is there other schools kind of in the mix? There were definitely other schools that I would like have been happy to go to, but um, USC was never like not a number one option for me. I always loved USC. I always aspired to go there. I mean, it's a great academic school and the sports there are prestigious. So yeah, it was definitely one of the schools that I would have been like, wow, this is a cool school to go to and definitely appreciative of it. Well, you've still got plenty of time left to work there with the Trojans. And what is it like to kind of get a preview of for what next season is going to look like here in Ben, working with some of your current teammates like Andrew Harbour and then some of your future ones like uh, John Elliott, getting to work with them in Ben? Yeah, well, um, my current teammates, Harbour, um, definitely were able to get much closer with them this season. And so I was really happy I was going to be able to come out here to Ben with them. And Johnny Elliott, he's same hometown, and I'm excited to work with him and see what he can do coming into the incoming season and see if he can get a relationship with us and start, start getting some things done, yeah. So making that immediate impact in your freshman season, you were able to be, get prepared for that a lot during your youth years, number six ranked pitcher coming out of high school in the state of California. So what do you think enabled you to create that separation from yourself from the rest of competition in high school? Um, well, I just try to think of it as there's always more to get done. I mean, I always like to look at the guys who, the aspiring pitchers out there in the country who are just throwing hard and getting guys out. And it's always, it's always pretty inspiring to look at. And it's something I really want to do. And I, there's only one way to get there. And USC, I think it's definitely a place that can develop me and turn me into one of those pitchers. So it's definitely something I think the tools are there. I just need to be developed and see what we can do. And so you developed during your youth years, but you're also giving back to the youth as well, working with Rivers Tide Baseball and giving back to the youth there, helping coach out. What makes you and what enables that desire to want to give back to the next generation? Um, I mean, it's always fun to be around baseball with my age kids or even with younger kids. In high school, me and my baseball buddies would always go out to the Riptide team who would practice on our high school field, and we would always work with them, and it would always be a pretty good time. And uh, we, would always, we would do a couple camps at USC for the kids who would come out to Dato and have, just have a blast. So it was always pretty fun. It's always good to be around, and it's, just a, it's always a good time. Well, looking forward to see what you do this summer, Mason. We've got a plenty of Trojans in town here in Bend, and you're one of the bright ones that we're looking forward to see play. Thank you so much. Elks taking on the sweets. Rubber match coming up at 635.